We're back now at 8.30. Over the past several years, most homes in Georgia have seen a decrease in value. Are county tax assessors lowering their values for property tax purposes? John Adams is here to talk about recent changes in Georgia law that allows homeowners to get more involved. John, good morning. Good morning. Since you got here early, we got some pickled pig's feet for you, too. <laughs> <laughs> your prize this morning. Thank you. Hey, listen, um, the law changed this year because yeah. usually by May 1st, these notices are going out. Right. This year, what's going on? This year, for the first time ever, the county tax assessor's office has to mail a notice of assessment to every taxpayer, whether there is or is not a change in your assessment. Okay. That gives everybody a chance to look at what the county thinks their property is worth and make up their own mind. Mm -hmm. From the date that notice is mailed, the taxpayer has 45 days to file an appeal. If they fail to do that, they've lost their right to an appeal for this year. So now that's unfortunate because home prices as you know have fallen in many areas right. significantly you know there, there are several people here who have not received their notices yet so if if someone sitting at home says hey wait a minute I usually have have received mine by now but I haven't yet should the, they be concerned yes they should because let's say it gets lost in the mail doesn't make any difference that 45 days starts on the day the county says they mailed it I see whether you get it or not and okay. they may have sent it to the wrong address so the deadline was May 1st but many of the counties who are here are just overwhelmed they've right. never had to do this volume of mailing before right and so it's I think it's smart to go ahead and call your tax assessor mm -hmm. and say was my notice mailed what was the effective date mm -hmm. what is my last date to appeal and what is the procedure what is the procedure for appeal well basically you fill out a piece of paper and say I disagree and here's what I think is worth and that gets to the heart of the matter you have to have a number in mind that you can defend right that you think it's worth so how do you get to that well there there uh, are several sources out there. Certainly, you need to keep up with sales in your own neighborhood. Talk to real estate professionals. Follow sites like Zillow.com okay. because they'll give you information about pending sales that will give you trends. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, I think you should be looking for foreclosure resales because when a bank takes a home back, often that house is damaged and often the bank is really motivated to sell, even right. at a very low price. Okay. That sale will very very much help your case. Huh. So look for those and by law, first time ever, the county tax assessors must take that into consideration. Yeah, I was going to say, there may be homeowners out there who say, gosh, I'd like to appeal, but I just don't think I'm going to get anywhere. You know, I'm sort of, my back's against the wall. Do you really, how do you know that you've got grounds for well, what you're asking for? Great question, and the answer is base it on facts. The definition of fair market value is what is somebody willing to pay and what am I willing to sell for? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we don't know because the house is not on the market. Right. But if we can find similar homes that have sold prior to January 1st of this year, okay. those homes are indications of our home's value. And even if you think that, that you don't have a case, I think it's worthwhile to go ahead and appeal and just ask for a small reduction, mm -hmm. they're more likely to go ahead and give you that just to get you out of the system. And you're also saying that if your home is uh, worth maybe more than $200,000, you, right. you might want to consult a professional? Absolutely, because once you get up above $200,000, we're talking about real money here. Right. And you could potentially save several thousand dollars over a three-year period, and usually if the county loses, they lock that price in for a three-year period. So okay. you get triple the savings. John, thanks a bunch. Much. You bet. Appreciate it. You can. Uh, we've put more information about what John is talking about at myfoxatlanta.com. Just look under the Good Day tab. We'll also have a link to his website. Right now, it's. Uh